I was heading south on Dickinson, uh, headed to work, and uh, I heard a loud bang as a vehicle went by me. The latest victim of a shooting along a stretch of highway in Fresno and Madera counties is talking about the frightening attack and the bullet that narrowly missed him. Six deputies are working around the clock to try to track down the shooter who's been targeting random cars from Madera County to Fresno County. Action News reporter Santaya Rose spoke with two victims of the latest shootings who described similar terrifying experiences. He joins us live now from Sheriff's headquarters. Santaya? Well, Dale, obviously these victims were both surprised and mad, but they are grateful they didn't lose their life over it. Paul was listening to the radio Friday morning on his normal drive to work when suddenly he heard a loud sound. And I just kind of glanced at my rearview mirror. I thought maybe my tire blew out or something. He gave a detailed description to deputies about the suspect's truck that was long gone by the time he realized his truck door was pierced by a bullet. And then when I got to work and I was getting out of the truck, when I opened the door, I seen the, the big hole in the door and then I looked a little closer and then I seen the slug. The random shooting marks the seventh since late November. Detectives say the victims have given similar descriptions of what happened. The suspect approaches from the opposite direction and right when the cars are even, fires into the unsuspecting victim's car. One thing investigators have noticed is the suspect's preferred travel route. We've got from 145 in the Madera area all the way south, uh, Dickinson, uh, McMullen grade, all that area. So it's a similar pattern up and down. Uh, it tells us that this person uh, uses this route frequently. The timing of each shooting has also been notable. The shootings are either from 6.30 to 7 in the morning or 4.30 to 5 in the evening. Robert was on his way home from work late Monday when his truck was shot at on Jensen near Dickinson. I heard the sound at first and it took me a while to register what was going on. First I thought it was a blowout. Uh, that was impossible. It was too loud. So I pulled over and then I seen my sh truck was a shot. Detectives have been looking for surveillance video in the areas where each shooting has happened. It's been hard to track down the suspect because of the time lapse between the gunfire and the 911 calls. Many victims have driven to places they feel more safe to call and by then the suspect is miles away. So right now, detectives are not releasing any information on the specific gun being used, only to say that it is a handgun. This case is taking top priority here because of the threat to public safety. We're live tonight at Fresno County Sheriff's Headquarters, Santaya Rose, ABC 30 Action News.